Hi everybody, in these two videos I'm going to try to demonstrate some concepts of working distance with various lenses and diopters and add-ons to achieve super macro underwater. Now we're not underwater but the principles hopefully are going to make sense to you. So with a 105 millimeter macro lens um, the nice thing about this compared to the 60 is we have a little longer working distance. We can achieve one-on-one -on -one magnification on the sensor and be a little further away. Now I did these measurements and took the shots before in the interest of time. But for demonstration, the working distance, the closest I can get, that's from the subject to the end of my lens, the working distance is about six inches or 15 and a half centimeters. All right, and I'm gonna take a picture of this penny. I've already taken the shot. All right, now I can of course go as far back as I went, but then the, the image is smaller and I have more water column. Now we have a plus one, plus two, and plus four dry diopter. These we put on at the end of the lens and we're, we put these port over it. Now we're committed to this for the entire dive, okay? Um, I'm not showing it with the port, but it's about the same length as this lens. So this is about how close I'm getting with my underwater housing. Now. With a plus four, the working distance is smaller. Now I can get as close to 3.3 and a quarter inches or nine centimeters to the subject. And I achieve greater than one to one magnification on the sensor. However, I have less of a focus range. The furthest I can go back and still have an image in focus is 10 inches or about 25 and a half centimeters. That's as far back as I can be. If I'm any further away from this than the subject, it won't be in focus. So I'm committed to this narrow focus range the entire dive, but anything closer, you know, I am getting greater than one to one magnification on the sensor. So that's the cool thing about the 105 millimeter macro. Now, I often use a 60 millimeter macro. It's more of a workhorse lens. It's better in lower visibility. There's less of a water column. There's faster autofocus. The minimum focus distance with the 60 millimeter macro is about two and three quarters inches. So I'm about that close. All right. So I'm closer. That makes it a little harder to get one-on-one -on -one magnification on the sensor for skittish subjects. If I put my plus four diopter and I took pictures with all these, and I will show you examples of this in just a second. If I put my plus four diopter um, dry lens, now I'm closer yet. I can get as close as one to seven eighths of an inch. You can see where it might be kind of tricky with regard to strobe positioning. And now my maximum focus distance is about 9.5 inches or um, 24 centimeters. So I, again, I have a limited range, but I can achieve greater than one to one magnification on the sensor. So this is just an example of the working distance with a 60 and 105 millimeter macro and a plus four diopter. Now, of course, with a plus two diopter or a plus one diopter, you're, you know, they're not gonna magnify as much and you don't have to get as close. But uh, for the sake of principles, you understand uh, the general principles. Okay, let's just look at four of those shots I took. This is a penny with a ruler behind it taken with the 105 millimeter macro lens with no diopter or, or close up. I'm at the working distance, the, the minimum working distance to get one-on-one -on -one magnification on the sensor. So the distance, the penny is six inches from the end of the lens. The next shot, I have the plus four dry close-up lens screwed onto the end of the 105 millimeter macro. And now I'm closer, I've reduced the working distance. The penny is now 3.5 inches from the end of my 105 millimeter macro lens, close-up lens board combination. But I do have greater than one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor. Now, this is with the 60 millimeter macro lens. I'm 2.7 inches uh, uh, from the penny, from the end of the um, uh, lens and port. I have one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor. It's a similar size as with the 105 millimeter macro. But with the 105 millimeter macro, I was six inches. The working distance is greater. With the 60 millimeter macro, the working distance is 2.75 inches. So I have similar magnification, one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor, but my working distance, I have to get much closer to the subject with the 60 millimeter macro. However, this is still not super macro. We need a close-up lens or diopter. Now with my dry plus four diopter or close-up lens screwed over the top of the 60 millimeter macro, now I am 1.5 inches. The end of my lens, 1.5 inches from the penny and I do have greater than one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor. It's a true super macro shot of this penny with the ruler behind it, but I am quite close. My working distance is quite small with a 60 millimeter macro. 
So I hope these examples were helpful. So thanks for tuning in. Now my next video, I'm going to show what I actually use when I'm diving. Thank you.